so this is our chart in a bullish market market momentum is a bullish and market continue pushing higher high as we know to confirm any break of structure market must be break the previous major high and close our bid so this become our valid break of structure and now where is our impulse and correction in this case you can see here market momentum is a bullish and market take a pullback is here and then push higher market must be taken out the first pullback which one is here right market taken out the pullback and this low act like our inducement and after taken out the inducement our higher high is a confirm here again market push downside and this higher low confirm when when market break the previous major high and close our bid so this become our valid break of structure in this case where is our inducement you have to identify where is our inducement after taking out the inducement we can confirm our higher high so in this case where is our first pullback okay so our idm is here why this one is our idm why because this is not a valid pullback as we know we have learned in a chapter one market at least taken out the previous candle low to confirm a valid pullback so this is a not a valid pullback because this candle high is here and low is here market not break this a uh, previous candle low so this is a not a valid pullback actual inducement is here if market create any pullback for example here okay then market taken out this inducement so this inducement is a not valid here this inducement will be transfer here to here okay and the next scenario is here if market not create any other inducement and then market push downside like this and taken out this pullback and then market continue go higher and break this structure and close of it so this become our valid break of structure so let's see what happened next after this one let's see all right okay first of all extend this one and now you can see market not taken out this inducement and market trying to push higher so this one is a not a confirm higher high you have to wait for to confirm higher high in this case so let's see what will be happen next after this one all right so now you can see previous high break this one and this is a not a break of structure why because there is no inducement taken out then how you can mark as a break of structure so to confirm any higher high to confirm a break of structure market at least taken out the inducement so in this leg you can see this is a not inducement as we know in a part one because this one is a not valid pullback this was our inducement which is not taken out by this move so this is a not a valid pullback if market taken out this pullback is here like this for example let me show you exactly then you can understand for example market taken out this inducement something like this so this become our valid break of structure and this become our valid higher high but market not taken out this inducement so this is a not a break of structure and this move act like a single leg move like this something this move count as a like this move okay and now we can see here previous high broken it means this is our internal structure right so in this leg you have to identify where is our first pullback first pullback is here okay this one if market in a future if market taken out the first pullback at least this pullback and this is our actual pullback but the first pullback we count as a inducement to confirm any higher high to confirm any lower low so let's mark this inducement is here and this inducement will be transferred here to here why because this inducement is not valid here because market create new inducement at this point if market taken out this inducement our higher high will be confirmed here so let's see what happened next here as you can see here market taken out this inducement now we have arranged this is our new higher high at this point and this is our higher high is here now this is an inducement now we have arranged this low to this high this is our single leg move so if market break this low or okay and then market push higher high and break this one and this become our valid break of structure and maybe market continue go higher something like this and create new structure and this become our valid break of structure so let's see what happened next here okay so market still pushing downside and still market momentum is a bullish and market always taken out the liquidity taken out the inducement before continuation go higher or lower so right now momentum is looking for the upside so at this point as you can see here this is our valid break of structure at this point why because market close above it 
if market taken out the previous high and close above it so this become our valid break of structure after break of structure you have to identify where is our higher low in a bullish market so where is our higher low you have to identify deepest point in this leg where is our higher low so this is our higher low because this is our lowest point this is become our higher low because this is our lowest point and do not mark this is our higher low because some people mark this is our higher low because market break the structure and mark the recent low as a our higher low no this is a not higher low higher low means deepest point which one is here after break of the structure so this move something like this let me show you exactly this move like this one and like this okay and this right and you can see this is a not a break of structure as we explain here now let's see what happen next here after break of structure if market continue pushing upside okay and create new inducement so where is our inducement in this leg you can see there are lot of uh, pullback is here something like this okay so where is our inducement first pullback where is our first pullback is here okay why because this one is our first pullback after break of structure you have to wait for break of structure to confirm a uh, inducement once market taken out the inducement our higher high will be confirmed here so this one is our inducement if market taken out this inducement our higher high will be confirmed here to taken out inducement market can be sweep the inducement and market can be closed it does it doesn't matter okay so let's see what happen next here after this one so now we have a new inducement where is our new inducement at this point why because market create new pullback to the upside and this is our single leg move you can say as a impulsive move correct once market taken out the pullback so this become our corrective move as per the structure mapping so this is our pullback small pullback right why because these two candles equal high is here and this low broken by this candle and this become our valid inducement is here right so this is our valid inducement in this case this candle high is here and this candle low is here and some someone mark this is our pullback no this is a not a valid pullback because this is our inside candle of the previous candle high or low is not broken which is actual high or low you can understand more better if you read 3.0 new ebook and also you can understand more better if you watch part 1 a very carefully where i explain these all thing in a details right so that's why this is our valid inducement if market taken out this inducement our higher high will be confirmed here but remember one more thing where is our change of character as per the structure mapping where is our change of character actual high is here and actual low is here means which is measure high or low if if market taken out this inducement our higher high will be confirmed here but if market just break this low right and close below it if market close below it this become our change of character if market not close below it just taken out the previous low right so this is our liquidity see sometime market taken out the previous major low but not close below it so this become our liquidity sweep and now you can shift our structure here to here right because new high and new low will be transfer here if you are mapping the structure something like this okay okay so this become a invalid right so this move will be like right so right now you can see here market momentum is a bullish and market trying to push higher and if market taken out the inducement then we can buy here because market momentum is a bullish we are not buying here actually but this is a just example to understand about structure mapping so let's see what happened next here now you can see market taken out the inducement once market taken out the inducement where is our higher high at this point why because market taken out the inducement now we have range between this low to this high right so let's see what happen next after this one so you can see here market break the previous high which one is here and close our weight once market close our weight this become our valid break of structure in this case where is our higher low because this is our higher high and higher low will be confirmed when market break the previous high so this point become our higher low because this is our deepest and lowest point is here in this move so this is our higher low not here because this is our lowest point and market push higher break the previous high and close our bid 
and after close our weight you have to identify where is our inducement where is our actual high and low so in this leg you can see where is our pullback you can see at this point where is our pullback this one why because this one is a first pullback in this leg maybe market can create new pullback something like this and go higher okay so this become our new inducement and maybe create another one so this become our new inducement inducement will be transfer here to here okay why because market momentum is a bullish right right now only one pullback is here in this leg which is here if market taken out this inducement our higher high will be confirmed here but if market take this previous yellow point which is our higher low and close below it this become our change of character i'm talking about only structure mapping okay so let's see what happened next here after this move you have to wait for to taken out the inducement as you can see here market taken out this inducement is here now our higher high is a confirm here at this point why this higher high is a confirm because market taken out the inducement this is our pullback market taken out this one and now we have arranged this high to this low in case if market break this major low which one is here and break this low and close below it right if market close below it so this become our valid change of character now you can see partially sweep the previous low okay but you have to wait for it to confirm a valid change of character right so let's see what happened next here now as you can see here market break the major low is here after break the major low this point become our change of character is here and this change of character not confirm here by this taking out this low this change of character is a confirm here at this point right but technically this is a part of this lag which one is here you can expand here something like this right so this is our change of character now we have arranged this is a higher high and this is our higher low which is broken by this move right so where is our lower low in this case you have to identify where is our lower low lower low when market taken out the inducement then our lower low will be confirmed here so in this case after this valid change of character where is our first pullback you can see in this case there are a lot of pullback but you have to identify where is our first pullback only one which one this one or this one this one is a not a valid pullback and this one is our valid pullback why you can zoom this part and now i'm going to show you exactly why this one is a valid because this move is our valid a pullback why because previous candle taken out this high so this become our valid pullback and this candle high is here and low is here and this move is our inside move of this previous candle high and low if market create anything between the previous candle high and low which is a not a valid pullback this is a invalid right so this one is our valid inducement because this candle taken out the previous candle high so this become our first pullback which one is here now let's see what happened next after this move then you can mark actual lower low in a structure so let's see maybe market can create a new a valid inducement one more time let's see okay now you can see here at this point where is our inducement this inducement will be transfer at this point why this one because this one is our valid pullback you can see here previous candle high taken out by this move and then market push higher and finally market take the previous low which was here at this point let me show you exactly this one right so this move something like this right if market taken out this inducement okay then our lower low will be confirmed here okay so let's see what happened next here after this move okay now you can see here market taken out this inducement at this point and after taking out the inducement our lower low will be confirmed where is our lower low this one because market momentum convert market momentum change bullish to bearish because this one is our change of character now we have a range between this low now we have a range between this low to this high right and this is our single leg move so this one is our corrective move maybe market can push higher if market taken out this high or this high or anything doesn't matter market is still bearish okay until broken this actual high okay let's see what happen next here after this move market trying to push higher and market still where is until taken out the previous major low which is mark here right and now you can see market trying to push higher and some people mark they mark this is a chalk or pause like this this is internal structure and this is a not a chalk or pause anything this is our single leg move 
and this will be our corrective move because market break this change of character okay if market break this actual high which one is here and close our it so this one is also called change of character because market was bullish and convert into bearish and then again turn into bullish right so you have to wait for to confirm a structure if market push downside and close below it this become our break of structure why because bullish then market turn into bearish so let's see what happen next after this move okay now let's see what happen next here okay finally market break this low and after break this low what happen here market break this low and close below it so this become our continuation market turn into bullish to bearish and after candle closer is here you have to identify where is our inducement in this leg where is our lower high and where is our inducement first of all mark our lower high lower high means highest point in this leg okay in this move where is our highest point so in this case you can see here this is our highest point because after break this structure means a change of character market push higher high till this point and then market completely push downside and break the previous low and close below it so this become our break of structure only first move is a called change of character so in this lag you have to identify is the next part is inducement where is inducement inducement means first pull back after break of structure after change of character i'm talking about only structure mapping in this case where is inducement inducement is here because after break of structure this one is our first pull back which is must be taken out to confirm a new lower low if market not taken out this inducement and market can be create new inducement something like this okay maybe more push down side so first pull back is always called inducement and this inducement will be transfer here to here like this okay so let's see what happen next after this move okay now you can see here market create new pull back is here so where is our inducement this one because this one is our first pull back is here after break of structure and let's see you have to wait for taken out the inducement then you can continue uh, switching the inducement like this this okay so this one is our inducement right now and let's see what happen next here where is our next inducement is here at this point right because this one is our next pullback this bullish candle taken out the previous candle low and then this various candle taken out this bullish candle high so this is our valid pullback this one is our inducement if market taken out the inducement our lower low will be confirmed here so let's see what happen next here okay market create another inducement which one is here why this one even market not break this high then why this is inducement because these equal low are similar means this various candle low and this bullish candle low both are similar that's why this is our valid inducement is here and you can say this is our valid pullback is here right so let's see what happen next here okay finally market taken out this inducement once market taken out the inducement our lower low confirm here this lower low is a confirm here now you can see so this become our lower low and this become our lower high now we have range between this is here and this is our impulsive move and this was our corrective move and this was also impulsive move right impulse and correction and continuation now we can again market break this low and close below it so this become also a break of structure so let's see what happen next after this move if market break this high right and close above it so this become also a change of character but market must be close above it if not close above it that's not a change of character which will be count as a liquidity sieve so let's see what happen next after this move okay all right so finally market break this low and this become our break of structure at this point all right so this one is our break of structure lower low and this is our lower high at this point because this is our highest point in this case you can see here after break of structure you have to identify where is our pullback in this leg where is our inducement means pullback inducement both are similar thing right so where is our inducement this one why because this one is our first pullback after break of structure this is a not a valid break of structure because the larger candle is here which low is not broken by this candle so this one is a not a valid so let's see what happen next here okay market continue pushing downside all right market trying to create a new pullback is here and you can see inducement okay all right so market create new inducement at this point and then what happened market break this low 
which is a not a break off structure this is our single leg move is here okay but market creating something like this move okay but market must be taken out the first pullback to confirm a lower low in a bearish market so let's see what happen next here all right market continue pushing downside okay let's see all right at this point market again trying to create a new inducement right now we have an inducement at this point but let's see what happened next here again market create new inducement at this point now you can see this is our impulsive move this is only one single leg is here and market create this inducement at this point why is this inducement because market create this low move something like this right so if market taken out this inducement we can confirm our lower low at this point if market create new pullback is here right so this become our new inducement at this point but let's see what happened next after this move you can see market create new pullback at this point finally market break the previous low is here okay so you have to mark this one this high and this low if anything happened between this high or low this is internal structure you have to identify high and low which is broken here so at this point you have to identify where is our recent pullback which is here right so this one is our inducement now you can see this is a single leg move only okay but let's see what happened next here finally market taken out this inducement after taking out the inducement our lower low is a confirm here where at this point okay so this become our lower low and this is our only single leg move and market take a pullback and push downside but if market break this low which is our lower low if market break this low at this point and close below it so this become our valid break off structure if not break this low and not close below it just pushing upside market still bearish until broken the lower high which is here this is a yellow point right so let's see what happen next here after this move then you can understand all right so this is interesting point is here you can see market break this low but not close below it so this is a not a break off structure so market must be close below it to confirm a valid a break off structure so you have to wait for to candle closer just below it at this point this low right if market close below it because this candle taken out the previous candle low okay so let's see what happened next after this move okay finally market break this low and close below it so this become our valid break off structure at this point and this high act like our lower high at this point let me remark this one is here okay so this one is our lower high at this point and now you can see after this lower high after this valid break of structure you have to identify where is our inducement in this leg you have to identify right now where is our inducement inducement is here why because this one is our first pullback after break of structure if market taken out this inducement our lower low will be confirmed here but if market break this actual high which is here so this become our change of character is here so let's see what happened next here finally market taken out this inducement is here and after taken out this inducement where is our lower low at this point okay so this is our lower low and now you can see also market break the previous high which one is here and this become our change of character because market turn into bearish to bullish right if market again push higher okay if market push higher and continue create a, a new structure something like this okay taken out the inducement our new structure will be continue break off structure something like this okay but let's see what happened next here after this move and one more thing you have to uh, check here in this case you can see here after change of character where is our inducement in this leg as you can see here there is no valid pullback as per our pullback uh, plan this candle high is here and this candle low is here and this is happening between this high or low and this is a not a valid pullback but if market again push downside and break this low for example break this low then what will be happen here in this scenario and what is structure in this case so our structure will be transfer here to here okay why because in this leg there is a no inducement okay and this low is a not count as a change of character okay and this high will be transfer here to here at this point like this okay and then our lower low will be also transfer the new inducement everything because in this leg there is no inducement sometime 
you can see this type of situation then you can handle like this but if market create any inducement is here then this is a valid change of character okay but let's see what happened next after this move or maybe if market create new inducement uh, for example here okay new inducement taken out this inducement go higher this will become our higher high higher low and this one become our break of structure okay so let's see what happened next here in this case all right so as you can see here at this point what happened market break this previous low which is a just liquidity sieve so in this case this is a not a break of structure this is a not change of character this is a just low or high transferring here in this case because in this case there was no inducement at this point so actual high is here right this high will be transferred here but this low will be also transfer and this low is also will be transfer here to here uh, something like this let me show you exactly okay and this low will be transfer here to here and this is a not a uh, become structure or anything this everything will be a transfer like this inducement transfer here to here right and this is a not a change of character just a normal structure something like this right so this become our new structure new thing and this is our single leg move here to here right if market break this low and close below it so become our new break of structure in this case so you have to wait for to confirm a new structure or maybe market create a new is here okay so this become our valid break of structure in this case and in this case where is our change of character and where is our inducement change of character point is here because this is our lower high and where is our pullback first pullback where is our pullback in this leg this one right because this one is our valid pullback to confirm a lower low okay so let's see what happened next here in this case market create new inducement at this point is here okay let's see what happened next here okay finally market taken out this inducement after taking out the inducement where is our lower low at this point right so this one is our low and this become our break off structure this is our lower high now we have a range between this high to this low and this is our single leg right so let's see what happened next here in this case okay finally all right okay market trying to push higher high if market break the previous major high and close our weight which will be which will be a change of character because market turn bullish to bearish so first of all mark this high is here right so still market momentum is a bearish but market close above it so this become our valid change of character market must be close above it so let's see what happened next here okay so finally at this point this candle close of it when market close of it this become our valid change of character market turn bearish to bullish now first market was bullish then market turn into bearish now again market shift into bullish side so these thing will be continue in a bullish and bearish side and again same thing same process will be continue same thing and same process will be continue here this is a change of character you have to wait for taking out the inducement which one is here taking out this inducement and go higher this become our higher high and this become our higher low this become our break of structure this thing will be continue in upcoming chart in upcoming markets so everything will be continue as we know right so this is our structure mapping way that how you can actually mark the structure is here and how you can mark the inducement how you can mark the lower high higher high and what is inducement everything okay so you can mark everything and this is a process to marking the structure by mechanical true smc structure and these all internal structure is here right these are all internal structure don't try to mark this as a boss chalk anything right this is a not structure changing this is an internal structure and you can also play in lower time frame which will be covered in entry types that how you can play in both side like buy or sell during the bearish market during the bullish market but this is a chapter including all about structure mapping that how you can structure mapping in a bullish market in a bearish market and what is inducement what is lower low lower high and where is our valid boss and where is our invalid chalk everything you can rewatch this chapter multiple time because this is a very interesting and very important topic to understand structure mapping and i hope you learn a lot of new things and you can apply on your chart and 
again again and watch again and again don't and don't try to switch into the next chapter before to confirm before to clear this chapter 2 okay every chapter is a very important for you first identify valid pullback valid boss chalk everything right once this concept clear then switch into the next chapter and i hope you learn a lot of things i will see you on the next chapter happy trading